I wanted to share some thoughts about education. I think that the prime function of education is to teach people how to educate themselves throughout life. It is not to show off information down their minds. It is not to train them for jobs. It is to teach them how to acquire skills and how to educate themselves, how to critically decide through judgment and decision-making processes what is good for them, future paths of life. Now, as a Pole, I decided to migrate to Great Britain once in order to have a taste of Western education. Now, it wasn't the best of the universities, but one that I decided to apply for. I applied for two UVs, the Cambridge University and Aberystwyth University. Now, throughout my education, I've managed to notice that only 5% of my intellectual progress and my time went towards the study effort. I decided to study and to perfect myself. I had all the partying, skirt chasing, all the sex, drugs, rock and roll past me. I really lived through it before pursuing my studies. Therefore, I didn't decide to waste my time on parties, pubs, and so on. I was that silent guy that observed the children running around and playing the things that I played long ago. So, I got this little diploma that enabled me to acquire some corporate work and made things easier for me. However, I remember that I spent most of my time in the National Library of Wales and I uh, pursued various fields of knowledge and disciplines that I was interested in whether it was a 1950s book on embryology or neurodevelopmental biology, psychology, whether it was the occult, whether it was psychology, psychiatry, whether it was astronomy, whether it was rhetorics, anything that I've put my hands into, I wanted to acquire. Now, the process of reading books is not about reading. It's about incorporating knowledge. When you read a political treatise, say, Kamandaki, Essence of Politics, you try to reflect it and to think deeply how would you act and react in certain spaces. A book is written by a person. That means that when you're reading a book, you are flirting with the mind of that person. You're entering its intellectual sphere. So through such methods, you converse with the author. And he is your teacher, your master or your mistress. Then if you find the methods to train throughout life by confrontation, by taking something that is real, instead of just browsing texts and not learning anything at all just to pass this bloody exam, then you failed. You have a diploma, but you failed in the purpose of education. And you failed yourself, wasting money, acquiring some transferable soft skills that perhaps will get you a good job, but you are as good as dead without continuous intellectual improvement, without the improvement of character. You laid yourself to the grave without it, and you live blindly through automatisms throughout your life until you're dead, and you never mature. Maturity is not defined by your age, but by autonomy and responsible liberty, taking decisions at each and every step of your life, thinking about the rest, the whole, the, um, the consequences of your actions with foresight and insight into the causality of what you make of yourself, what you make of others, and what you make of a society. Here I end my little rat. Perhaps that will give you some food for thought. Perhaps not. However, I wish you all the best. 
it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and I had the talk to come back, so I did. So, good luck wherever you are. Thank you.